What's up, guys? Software Dev Jason here. So, I just want to make a quick update on the uh, the dirty old Craigslist tool buy video that I made previously. The bulk of that stuff was actually wrenches and ratchets and sockets and um, air tools and stuff. But there was mixed in with all that. There was a lot of pliers and things like that. And uh, that was the first thing I kind of worked on cleaning up. A lot of it was locked up. Like most of the crescent wrenches wouldn't turn. A lot of the needle nose pliers and stuff like that wouldn't wouldn't open fully and stuff like that. So that was the first thing I worked on because it's just a little, a little bit easier to work on this stuff than to deal with those five gallon buckets of sockets. So that's what I started with. This actually, after going through all the tools, this is this is all of the pliers that were thrown in with those toolboxes and stuff like that. So you have crescent wrenches dikes or cutters there uh, some pliers uh, some channel locks some snips of some sort pin snips right there uh, wire cutters and strippers uh, the whole corner up there is needle nose pliers then you have um, like circle clip uh, pliers there and vice grips and a few other little random things like uh, I don't know what that thing is. Somebody out there can tell me what that is. It may have to do with welding or something. This is all the pliers that came uh, out of that tool that tool haul from Craigslist. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of pliers that are here. There's a few things here that I didn't have. Uh, like I only had one pair of channel locks. And now I have, let's see, what's that? If you count those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight additional pair of channel locks. I don't have a lot of vice grips. So now I have more than I'll ever need. Those, some of those didn't clean up very well. Uh, the, the chrome plating on some of those are flaking off, but they are the vice grip brand, so I'm going to keep them. They, they're functional. They're just a little rough on your hands because of that flaking. Another cool thing about this stuff um, is that I, I found that I have quite a few uh, uh, snap-on tools here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, Snap-on USA. Um, that one's snap-on. It's missing one of the the uh, grips um, that one snap on that one snap on um, all of the, like the red handled stuff is snap on or the it's like a plier it's like a whole plier set that snap on um, there's also some of these are uh, Mac tools so yeah there's some some nice stuff scattered about in here I'm going to be slowly working through the rest of it, so I'll post a update video every once in a while of, of that process. Oh, and by the way, one of my previous videos uh, a while back, it was a completely different set of tools that I had worked on cleaning up. I made a video about those tools. Uh, it's got quite a few views, but it's, it wasn't very well received, I guess. It's got some dislikes on that video. And I think, you know, the main reason for that is that I didn't show the process of cleaning up the tools. Uh, this video, I'm not showing that process either, but I promise if you wait till the next one, uh, when I'm working on maybe the uh, some of the wrenches or something, I will go through the entire process of how I clean them up. See, it's, I mean, they're not like perfect. Like these aren't in perfect shape. You know, they're still discolored in some places. Like it's, see, it's splotchy. I mean, it's not got a lot of rust on it anymore and it works, but... I'll go through the whole process of uh, soaking this stuff and scrubbing it down, so it's not that complicated. I'll put it, I'll put how to do that in the description of the video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.